Greg Furtuck has now been behind bars for more than six months waiting for this case to proceed to the courts. And that's really what this preliminary hearing is for, for the courts to decide if there is enough evidence for the trial to proceed or for a trial to proceed. Uh, the Crown is presenting the evidence that it has to the judge and the judge will decide if it should proceed. Uh, basically, the judge needs to, to see enough evidence or they can drop the charges. Um, we can't report any of these details. Uh, that's because there's a publication ban. So today is the first day of this preliminary hearing and family have travelled from outside of Saskatoon to be here. Uh, for them, this is the first chance they may have to see the details of the RCMP's case. They've been in the dark too. Uh, Tika White is Sherry Furtuck's sister. Kudos to these people doing this. You know, like, the time and effort that they, you know, that they put into an investigation like this um, for one person. What we do know from before this hearing is that Greg Furtuck was arrested after what is known as a Mr Big Sting. And that's where police, undercover police, pose as criminals uh, pretending to be, or well, they befriend the suspect in the hope of inducing a confession in the long term. And that is what happened in this case. Gregory Furtuck confessed. He told police that he, quote, got rid of Sherry. But he later said that that wasn't the truth, that he was lying, he was afraid of police, uh, the undercover police posing as criminals. And Sherry's body has never been found. And that's part of what makes this case so interesting. It's quite unusual for the Crown to prosecute without having found a body. Uh, we can't report on the details, as I said, but by the end of this two weeks, we should know whether or not a trial will proceed. Alicia Bridges, CBC News, Saskatoon.